a topical map is essential for your SEO strategy, especially with the most recent helpful content updates from Google. You want to focus your content in one area and target that and fully cover it before you move on to any other categories, because otherwise you'll just spread yourself too thin and you will not achieve topical authority. And Keyword Revealer is a tool that can supposedly help you with this. So let's dive in and test it. When I first heard about topical maps and topical authority a couple of years ago, everything started to make sense with SEO. Because now I could start by covering one subject before I move on to another. And there are a lot of benefits by doing that. Before topical mapping and topical authority, I would simply spin up a website and then just start writing content in all different categories. But now it's completely different. Now I build out an entire topical map with categories, subcategories, and all the articles I want to write. And then I simply start with one subcategory, and then I write all the content in there. And it also makes it much easier to interlink all these posts because they are often relevant for each other. If you want to learn more about topical maps, I can really recommend the course Topical Maps Unlocked that goes through everything for you from A to C, and it helps you throughout the entire journey of building a topical map. I will leave a link in the description below. But Keyword Revealer is supposedly being able to help us build a topical map. And this all starts in the brainstorm module where you enter your seed keyword and then you get all these subcategories for your seed keywords, which in theory is part of all your categories. So I tried to enter my seed keyword and I was not blown away by the result. I did get the same categories I've seen with other tools like Writersen and Topic Mojo. So at least that was in its order. But when I try to get some subcategories for my main categories, then it basically just referred me over to the keyword research tool. And before I tell you my opinion, I'll just walk you through the keyword research tool because this is super simple. There are two ways you can use this. Either you can enter a domain. It could be your own domain to see what keyword you're ranking for, or it could be a competition. If you choose to enter a competitor's domain, then you can see all the keywords they're focused on and you can get some ideas. You can also simply enter a keyword and then you get a bunch of related keywords as an idea. And I will say this is a super simple keyword research tool. It doesn't have any filtering options. And the lowest keyword difficulty score I found for the keywords with 29, which is quite high. So when Keyword Revealer are telling us they are able to find low competition keywords, it doesn't really show that when it is that we look in the keyword research tool and we find these high competition keywords. And I tried a lot of different combinations of keywords and the more long tail you get, the less results you get. So right now it's clear to me that the database of keywords is very simple. It doesn't have a lot of keywords, so they definitely need to expand on that. And on top of this, the entire flow of building a topical map, they are pretty far from that right now. You can get your main categories and sometimes the main categories doesn't match 100% the subject, but you get some ideas. So as it is right now, I wouldn't use it to build an entire topical map, but I might use it as inspiration to see what type of keywords I should include in my topical map and target when it is I write out all the content that I want to cover. And when you have written content for these keywords you have found, then you can start to track them in the ranking tool. And the ranking tool is again super simple where you can enter all the keywords and then you can simply see how you're ranking both historically, but also right now and your best ranking ever. The thing here is that when you enter your keywords and it takes up to 24 hours before you get your first ranking. And for me, that's way too long time. I'm used to getting the result within a minute or two, but of course it makes sense that after time that it takes up to 24 hours, but I would definitely change that. On top of this, then we get a lot of basic information. And for me, I usually use Google Search Console to see my rankings and that works completely fine. This is just a very basic example of Google Search Console where we can see how our keywords are ranking. It is not pulling the data from Google Search Console, but it is basically crawling all the data from Google to see what you're ranking if you're ranking in top 100. Lastly, we have the backlink analysis module. And it's funny because in the most recent helpful content update from Google, they now say that links is not part of the top three ranking signals. Whether we believe that or not, I will let totally be up to you. But in the backlink analysis module, we can track our backlinks. So we can basically analyze them, monitor them to see if we lose some, or of course, if we win some new ones. And it's super simple to use. You can just enter your domain and then all the domains that are linking to you, which Keyword Revealer are aware of, 
will now show on a long list and then you can basically just click them all off and then start to monitor them. You will also get an overview of the newest and the last backlinks. So if you have either paid for a backlink or you have made a guest post on another website and you want to make sure that the backlink stays in place, then I will definitely recommend you using a tool like this to monitor it to ensure that your backlink will stay there because we have seen before that some they just remove it because they don't want to link to other websites or they add a no follow tag. So this is definitely where you get great value and it really surprised me how easy it is to use and how easy it is to monitor so many different backlinks at the same time. So overall, no, I would not build an entire topical map just using Keyword Revealer. I would use it for inspiration to make sure that I cover all the different keywords within my niche and within my subcategories. And on top of this, the backlink analysis module really surprised me positively. That's where the value is using Keyword Revealer. And it's also clear for me that they know what their product is worth because it's super cheap to get started. You can start with a free plan and their most expensive plan is only $30 per month. And when we compare that to the competition, it's very low. So it's clear for me that they know they don't have a lot of functionality. They are working on adding it, such as a Google search console integration. They're working on adding more keywords into the database, especially from Bing. They're also working on auto suggest and much more. So they are working on adding features. But right now, I really think that the price reflects the product. And you can always start with a free plan and then see whether the product is for you or not. But I want to give Keyword Revealer three stars. It's no extraordinary product. They need to add a lot more keywords in the database. But the backlink analysis module was really interesting. But if you want to see me use a completely free keyword research tool that uses so many different databases, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.